Live from the heart of the West Texas. Frontline News with Brent Clark. Here is your host extraordinaire, Brent Clark. Hey guys, the title of this podcast episode is called Ready the Republic. No COVID, none of the time. As I said, no COVID, none of the time. You might be saying, well, Brent, that's pretty hard, ain't it? Well, I got my special co-host today, J.R. Hendrick, to give me some commentary of the, of the normal man. I think some of us are getting tired of hearing about COVID. You know, Brent, it's like uh, back in, I guess it was uh, 92, 93, we got sick of hearing Madonna's deeper and deeper. <laughs> what do you know? Some people still listen to it to this day. Not condemning the song, not condemning the song, I'm just saying the pulverizing policies of politics of Washington and anywhere else in this country. You love it, you hate it. It just sex. But Brent and I are here to bring the news to you because I know some of y'all get tired of that reactive cycle. So here we go. <laughs> Gotta work on this sometimes reactive uh, Jane Tender empowerment computer here. We're going to go ahead and go to uh, the Federalist, all right, in our hot little hand. Okay, look at this. It's an interesting article from the Federalist. Victor Davis Hanson, Republicans have created a middle class uh, Democrats couldn't get uh, couldn't get quotas. <laughs> now I gotta say <laughs> we gotta ring the bell on that one, don't we, Jr. Quotas ain't got no, no nowhere. And some of you moderates and conservatives think that the that, that impacts and gathering and impacts is going is going to help things. No, I honestly think that some should make off. I mean, don't get me wrong. I I'm a, I'm a loyal Republican, but I think some of us should make off from Republican, Democrat, form the conservative party. Get together and clean the house. <laughs> you gotta watch my friend J.R. He gets a bit, and is, of course, as a journalist. But let's let's look at this, okay? Identity politics and the left's desire to eliminate the middle class, so that more Americans are reliant on the government have created a crisis that is worth fixing said a uh, political commentator and New York Times best-selling author Victor Davis Hanson he said on Fox News that uh, uh, the Ben uh, Dominic uh, uh, podcast. I, I, I ain't gonna criticize Fox News uh, if they're going left. I am, but uh, seriously, people, stop being all this stupid, reactive competing. What 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 good does it do? Nothing. All right. Seriously, stop it. If you know what's good for you, stop it. Uh, watch 
Barry Weiss, and Barris Brian uh, Stelter on his own show. No, we're not going to cover that. I'm not going to cover that now. That's, that's reactive. No COVID and no reactive. Uh, corrupt media spin. Texas legislature saying uh, boys can't destroy girls sports as controversial. Let me tell you something. The political left are, are, are just as much, if not more, than the political right. In fact, I think they're the ones that started it in the first place, and we need to stop it. Why, right, J.R.? Uh, just, just read the article. All right, I'll read the article. The Texas uh, State Senate and House voted to pass a bill that restricts public uh, school athletics from playing on sports teams that don't match uh, their sex and the corporate media is already busy spinning it. Gerald, <laughs> what they don't know is that we, as a corporate media, are going to spin it the right way. All I got to do is just, uh, you think, you think about this, this is podcast is from the James Henry Empowerment Network, and we're, we're going to say that uh, if a person's born a boy, he is a boy. If a person's born a girl, is a girl. Now, I feel sorry for those that have those transgender uh, tendencies. If the left is forcing them to on people, that's wrong. As I said, we're, that's wrong. We need to vote them out of office. Stop it. Well, you heard it from Jr. You heard it from Jr. And so, <laughs> I have to agree. We Texans are in the right. We got to stop that nonsense. Okay. Now, here's another one. ESPN reporter Allison Williams forced out a job over that. No, we're not going to cover that crap. That's reactive culture. Uh, Biden shamelessly uh, dis uh, here we go again. Here we go again. For Christians dying, uh, oh, here we go again. McAuliffe agrees public schools should not tell parents if their child is, is gender fluid. Okay, let's look at this. Says here. Imagine the following as a Glenn uh, Youngkin ad. The number of youth confused about their gender is up over 1,000%. If it's your child, Terry McAuliffe doesn't think you should know about their uh, struggles. Oh, man. Uh, the idiocy that's going on here. I tell you, the, the idiocy, idiocy that's going on here. People need to wake up. Save your child. For, for the sake of the country, save your child. 
This isn't, should, this shouldn't be something that we teach in schools. I'm glad a lot of schools in Texas say, uh-uh, those that do, that, that do teach that, that, that crap, shame on them, okay? Cut it out. Stop it. <laughs> I'm not going to have J.R. on every day, but I figured these had some stories. And, and here's something else, guys. Christians are being modern, marginalized by this society. All right, you can't tell me that Christians ain't being marginalized by this society, and so that's why this is this is a, a news but educational program. All right, y'all probably sick of hearing about COVID. Y'all probably sick about you know this entertainment gossip here, this entertainment gossip there. So there's the news for you, straight and to the truth. Hope you've enjoyed listening to Frontline News with Brent Clark. If you like what you hear, please subscribe and become a part of the Frontline News, receiving your daily updates. This is Frontline News saying until next time, be proactively informed.